Hello, this is a record presentation of our paper named Model-Based Fleet Deployment of Edge Computing Applications. We have three others from a Norwegian research institute called Sintef and two others from a company called Telu. As a paper from the practice and innovation track, I think many of you would be interested to know who is Telu. Telu is a small company providing IoT-based solutions. One of them is called remote patient monitoring. In Norway, many old people choose to stay at their own home alone, but they still need healthcare, ideally from remote. Telu send them medical sensors for blood pressure, blood sugar, weight, and they have gateways to collect all those data and send it to the backend Telu service. The patient have mobile apps which they can use to check their own status and get notifications like to take particular medicines regularly. And the backend service also generate uh, healthcare journals, which they provide to the nurse. Telu is a software company. They develop software for the backend service and also software running on the gateways. These gateways. So this is a photo taken by one of our others when he is preparing 16 gateways. Soon after, they will be sent to the patients. Now they have about 100 gateways already deployed, and they aim at 1,000 within a year, and growing faster even after that. But the job isn't done when those gateways are sent to the patients. Whenever they want to have some new features, or they want to add new sensors into the patients, they need to update the software on the gateways. Automatic deployment to the cloud is not a big problem now. Every day and two o'clock after the, all the code is built, the new version will be deployed automatically into Azure or AWS. But deploying new software to a thousand gateway are not so straightforward. So some gateways may not be online at two o'clock. And the gateways are not the same as each other. So Telio has the plan to run a gateway for 10 years. Well, that means several generations of hardware, which requires slightly different software. And users may choose different sensors that also means different drivers or different ways to collect the data and also tell you may want to try some new version of software only on some chosen patients before they actually roll it into all the patients so just in short you have several versions of software that you want to deploy into a thousand gateways so it's not possible to deploy individually to each of the device. So together with Telio, we have a concept called fleet deployment. So you deploy or you add a new variant of software into the fleet and leave the rest of the work to what we call the fleet deployment. Fleet deployment is at the core of the DevOps for such edge computing systems. Every time you release a new version of software or you have a new device added to the fleet, you need a new round of fleet deployment, updating some of the devices and keeping the others as before. Fleet deployment has several technical challenges. Unfortunately, some of them has already some solutions. You can use Azure IoT Hub to maintain the list of devices together with their contacts and even runtime status. And if you know which variant should go to which device, the actual deployment to the individual devices can rely on deployment tools such as Ansible, which even support the remote deployment. So the real problem left is how to calculate which variant goes to which device, which we call it the fleet assignment problem and this is the scope of this paper now as um, uh, since you are attending a conference called models it wouldn't be a surprise if i say that the solution would be 
model driven engineering. And this is what we tried. So first of all, we don't want to see the problem as real devices and real software. So we do a modeling. We abstract them into some simple models. These models should tell us what's the difference between the software variants and what's the difference between devices. After that, we need to find a way to write down what's the rational behind those assignments. And finally, we just need to find someone or something who can understand all this and do the assignment for us. The whole approach is like this. So from the fleet and the software variants, we abstract them into a platform specific model. If we're using uh, sort of LT Edge as a platform, those are the models that even a sure LT Edge could understand. After that, we further abstract them into some platform independent model and write some constraints as the way about how those uh, assignments should be like. And we use constraint solving to fill in the missing part of the PIM and then transform again into PSM. And those will be used by Azure for the real deployment. Let's look at this together with a simple example. Talio is making a new feature called fall risk detection. They use gateways to like collect the information like the gesture of the patient, the movement, the blood pressure, all this inf live information, and use them to assess if there is a high risk for the patient to fall in the next minute. Machine learning will do the job, but the engineering problem here is where you want to deploy the trained machine learning model. You can deploy in the cloud, which is a traditional way, but only if the gateway is running on Wi-Fi, since sending all the images or even video through 4G would be expensive. You can run the model on the gateway, which is feasible, but it might be slow. And more importantly, it will make the gateway hot since not every patient would care about the cooling solution of the gateways, so this will even kill the gateways. Talio has a solution to send the USB accelerators, but it's not something that you can do in a short time to all their users. So at some moment, you will have several versions of software with machine learning models running on different places, and you have different setup of gateways. Assigning the software to the gateway, considering all these resource constraints, and together with the development stages and testing or staging or preview, it's not a straightforward problem. First, we do the modeling. PSM describes how the information is as in the Azure IoT Edge. So you have deployment plans with some text and have devices also with some context tagged into it. From them, we abstract into a platform independent model. So just some deployments, devices, and some attributes, simple and uh, clear. So then what's how we want to assign them. So if we describe this in natural language, there are three categories of constraints. So deployment stage, development stage. So you don't want to deploy the developing version into the production devices. And the resource constraints, like we described before, if it has a Wi-Fi or it has an accelerator, the different uh, constraints on what, uh, where the machine learning model can be hosted. And then you have the global distribution, like uh, I want 10% of users to, uh, to try the new version. But 
if you just describe this in natural language, uh, it might be difficult to find some uh, program that could understand and do the cons uh, do the assignment for you. So we want to go a little bit further towards mathematics. So we found a tool called the satisfaction module theory. So you can further convert the model into the SMT problem, which is some uh, what we call the uninterpreted functions. So we have a set of device, we have a set of deployment. The problem of assignment is to find the function from the device side to the deployment side, plus probably an empty deployment if you couldn't find a solution for a particular device. And this function doesn't have an interpretation, so the constraint solver will find it for you based on some constraints and some other uh, functions with some provided values. Here are some examples of the constraints. But, uh, uh, I don't have time to explain them to you, but uh, uh, if you're interested, they're all in the paper. The constraint solver will find the solution, the interpretation to the functions, which can be further transformed back into the value in the model. So the lines between the boxes and they are further transformed into a PSM. So new tags and new uh, conditions. This PSM is essentially a JSON file. So it's the same input as Azure IoT Harp is using. So we just give it to Azure and the rest of the deployment is on them. Let's go through a made up DevOps scenario to see how this fleet deployment works for the developers. So let's assume that in the beginning, the developer only have one basic version of the software without any machine learning. After that, they start to develop the new version with machine learning running on the cloud. This is first put for testing and the fleet deployment we automatically choose two staging devices to try it. After that, version B is put to for review. So 20% of the production devices are chosen automatically to test B. At the same time, version C with machine learning on gateways is tested on one of the staging devices. After some time, after more and more features are added into the pipeline, the deployment on the production side start to look more colorful and more diverse. At some time, the development team decided to retire one version. So since you have flexible machine learning models, so the one only runs on gateway doesn't look to be relevant. So they can retire it. And uh, after the new assignment, you see that all the devices originally divide, uh, deployed with C are, re, uh, recover, are covered by the other uh, versions. So that means C is actually replaceable. And retiring C doesn't cause problem to the system. But if they go on to retire A, they have a problem. Some devices with limited communication or computation resource will not work. So this gives the direction to add a new feature that is to further compress the machine learning model so, it, so that it requires less uh, computation resource. And the new version G, when it's put into production, see that some of the devices are saved, but still some cannot be found with any valid deployment which gives the direction for the next. Uh... Some quick takeaways. Our concept is fleet deployment. We want to deploy software into the fleet, not into any individual edge devices. This may not sound new, since in cloud, you also deploy to the cluster, not to any individual node. But the difference is that in the cluster, 
all the nodes are identical. In theory, any software can be deployed to any node. But in Edge Fleet, all the, every device is unique. They have a different setup, have different context, and play different role in the fleet. So there is a problem of assignment. Like the mainstream automatic deployment solutions, those logos you may be familiar with, the core of our solution is also model-driven engineering. Constraint solving is one of the solutions that could understand the model and do the automatic assignment for us. And there are also other solutions using, for example, ontologies or machine learning. We're trying them and uh, we hope we'll be able to share with you some findings later on. So that's all. Thank you for your attention. Looking forward to meet you in the real conference. And if you're interested, please visit our repository. Thank you.